That relocation process is expected to take place starting next month. They was telling us about it last year and stuff too, so we knew it was coming, but we just ain't know exactly when. Like sands through the hourglass, the final hours of Han Village is slowly setting in. Oh, they didn't say they was going to do a demolition. They didn't say why. Patricia Corbett has lived in Han Village for nearly four years. Denise Walker recently moved to the area. The pair says that while there is crime in the area, they aren't concerned. There's crime everywhere, but it's all right with me. I don't bother nobody. Nobody don't bother me. The announcement to demolish Han Village was announced March 2018. News Channel 6 reported in 2018 that $12.5 million was the price tag for rehabbing the affordable housing units. That's why the Aiken Housing Authority has decided it will be cheaper to just tear it down. We may have some plumbing, some outdoor, the overheadings, they need to be replaced. And just old, old is just old. At a recent meeting, we're told officials are looking to provide tenant protection vouchers to families. And they're going to start handing out vouchers in February. And so they're going to do like 30, 30, 30 at a time. And then they're going to start with the um, people that have children first so they can get their school and stuff going. When asked where will the women go, Corbett says that she will take the opportunity to search close to home first. We're not really sure yet. I'm not. But I guess we're going to start with Aiken County, and then if we can't find nowhere in Aiken County, then we're going to have to go somewhere else. Walker says that she wants a place that simply makes her feel safe. We would like to relocate to a, a decent place, and even if we have to move out of the area, I mean, everybody's comfortable with where they're at, really. But yeah, if am. we I have to go, we'll them. just relocate. And we're told approximately 250 people are expected to be impacted. In Aiken, South Carolina, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock, WJBF News Channel 6.